Okay, so here we're going to discuss our ribosomal RNA and our transfer RNA processing. And so we're going to discuss the modifications of both of these in bacteria and in eukaryotes. And then we're going to discuss your um, transfer RNA transcripts and how it becomes a mature transfer RNA. And so we're going to talk about RNAs P, RNAs D, as well as our uh, nucleotidal transferase. So with respect to our ribosomal RNAs, we're going to have um, our pre-RNAs are modified. And modification of ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA contain all of these different nucleosides. So we can have um, inosine introduced, we can have a methyl guanosine introduced, a thiouridine introduced, um, we can have pseudouridine introduced, we're going to see that pop up a lot. So all of these are going to be potentially possible in our modification of these two RNAs. So let's first talk about bacteria. In the bacteria, remember they don't have um, introns, however, encoded in the bacteria, you can sneak in, for example, your transfer RNAs. And so this is a pre-ribosomal RNA transcript, which is for the 30S. And so you can see within this 30S, you're going to have some transfer RNAs um, associated with this. So that's that little uh, two introns and then transfer RNA. And so you're going to get um, methylation, pseudouridine, dihydrouridine conversion. So all of these little attached tags here are going to be changes in our ribosomal RNA. And so you can see you have a lot of methylated bases. Um, you're going to have some pseudouridine or uridine in those blue positions, and dihydrouridine are going to be in those black positions. And so you're eventually going to get cleavage, of course. Your, inter your um, intervening sequences are going to be cleaved out, and you're going to get transfer RNA, for example, here. And then you're going to get different size intermediates of your ribosomal RNA. Now you're going to get cleavage carried out by different RNA enzymes. Um, RNase P is a ribozyme. And then these intermediates are eventually going to become mature RNAs through, again, enzymes that are going to um, modify them. And again, you have your transfer RNA tucked away inside of your ribosomal RNA transcript. So each pre-ribosomal transcript is going to encode different trans tRNAs. And some are going to have multiple tRNAs. Um, and they are going to be different in sequences between 16S and 23S, which is here to here. You're going to have different sequences. And there's seven pre-ribosomal RNA in our, in our prokaryotes. Oops. And each of those sevens will have different numbers of transfer RNAs. You can also have transfer RNAs tucked away on the three prime end of the transcript as well. Now eukaryotes have a different setup. Um, for our eukaryotes, we're going to have a pre-RNA as well. And our pre-RNA transcript is going to be packaged into a 90S pre-ribosome. And this is all going to be in a nucleolus. So our 45 pre-RNA transcript is going to be synthesized again by that RNA polymerase 1. So that's going to make those 45. 
this is going to be proxies in the nucleolus, and there's going to be um, incorporation of the 45S into the nucleolar 90S preribosomal complex. Now the three, the 90S preribosomal complex is going to be where you're going to get your methylation, pseudouridine. Etc. And these are going to be carried out by small nucleolar RNA. And these are referred to as SNO RNA. And so the SNOW RNAs are going to do these modifications um, to our 45S in the 90S pre-ribosome. Now your pre-ribosome, again, this is going to where all the modifications occur by your SNO RNA. Um, your 90S is eventually going to um, split into a pre-40S and a pre-60S. And in your pre-60S, you are going to get that 5S, which came in through pole 3, polymerase 3. So polymerase 1 gave you the 45S, and then you're going to get that, oh, I should write it up here, pole 3, which will give you that 5S. Now your 60S and your 40S are going to have additional cleavages, um, additional processing, and then they're eventually going to be exported out of the cell. And so out of the cell, you're going to get your um, 20S become your 18S, and then you're going to get your 60S gonna be broken into several different components. 60 and 40S subunits are going to combine to form an ADS ribosome. So there's many different proteins involved in this um, in, in addition to your ribosomal subunits. Now our transfer RNAs are going to look like this cloverleaf here and we're going to have a few things that have to happen with this primary transfer. So you can see that some things look a little off like at this five prime end, you have this very long sequence, and this is going to need to be removed. So the RNA P is going to remove that five prime long end. So you get removal of that end. And then you're also going to have to remove this three prime end UU, because this is not going to be what's going to be helpful for bringing in the bases. And so RNA D is going to cut off that. And so the bases your amino acids are going to come in to the three prime end. And so you need to prepare that three prime end for the um, addition of the amino acids. And so the next step that has to occur is that we're going to have an intermediate end here. So again, we lost our five prime end that was modified. And then we also modified our three prime end. So at that three prime end, you have this addition of ACC. And ACC is required for amino acid attachment in all transfer RNAs. And this transfer of these are gonna be carried out by the tRNA. Um, nucleotidal transferase. So this is what adds this ACC. And so this is a post transcription modification.
And so this is important because this is not transcribed in the DNA. This addition of these key three um, nucleotides, adenosine, cytosine, cytosine, is not part of our DNA, but it's added afterwards. So this is very unique and it's very specific to all transfer RNAs and important obviously for their function to bind to and bring in the amino acids. And then afterwards, after you have this three prime end fixed and you have this five prime end truncated or cleaved, you have different modifications. You have methylation and deaminations. You also get the splicing of this group of amino acids down at the other end. Um, and this is going to be in eukaryotes only. So those amino acids are going to be split off as well. And then you're left with your mature transfer RNAs.